as more and more people do begin to jump onto the bandwagon of folding Android devices like the Z Fold 3, which was just announced the other day by Samsung, there is a problem that keeps coming back to the forefront, and that is the question of how well optimized for tablet-sized screens is Android. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a couple of quick tips to use with your Z Fold device. Now this will work on the one, two, or three that will make your life much, much better in terms of using your Z Fold in tablet mode. But before we get into that, if it's your first time on my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy today's video, please consider hitting that subscribe or like button. Thanks. So let me show you exactly what I am referring to when we talk about Android maybe not working all that well on tablet screens. There's one app in particular that comes to mind. I'm going to use this as my broad example, and that app is Instagram. So when I open up Instagram, what you're going to see here is a big black bar on either side of Instagram. I'll go back home here and you can see exactly what I mean. We're losing a lot of real estate here on Instagram. And the reason that this is happening is because Samsung realizes that the aspect ratio of the Z Fold being kind of squarish just doesn't work that well for Instagram. If you want to be able to see the whole picture, see some description down below it, comments, whatever, this is kind of what they decided to do. Maybe this isn't the way that you prefer things to happen. Maybe you wish you weren't losing all that space on the side. Now, there's another aspect to it. Let's say you want to do split screen multitasking. Let's say you want to open up your messages in split screen as well. Well, guess what? You can't. You can only open it in full screen or in a floating window. You can't have it split screen with Instagram. And there are more apps than just Instagram like this. I'm sure if you're a Z Fold user, you've become aware of this. Some apps just don't work that well. I have good news though. There's a really quick, simple way to fix this problem. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Galaxy Store. Now, this is not in the Play Store, only in the Galaxy Store. And you're going to search for Good Lock. And this is the app here in question. And once we have Good Lock installed, you're going to open up that app and you're going to look for this app down here in the corner, Multi Star. Multi Star is what you need. So hit on your little download button there and it's going to open up the Galaxy Store again. Let's go ahead and install Multistar. And now simply go back to Good Lock. Multistar will now be up here at the top. And this is the app that you're going to need to be using and it's going to solve so many problems for you so very quickly. So you see a section at the top that says I Heart Galaxy Foldable. That's where you're going to want to go. Big shocker, right? So let's first address how much screen real estate you're losing on Instagram by going into select aspect ratio for each app. And then you're going to want to go and scroll down to Instagram where it says default 16 by 9. Personally, I prefer that to be on 4 by 3. And I'll show you what that looks like when we go back into Instagram. You can see now that we are still losing some on the sides. But the picture is much, much larger. Now, why am I choosing to still lose some screen on the side? I'll show you. Let's go back to Instagram and we'll just do full screen. And now we'll go back into Instagram. We are now full screen and you may like this better. But for me, basically one picture fills the entire the entire screen. You're not going to see it. You have to scroll down to see. You can't see your know, description, comment, whatever, and the picture. So for me, a good compromise is to set it by, is to set it to four by three. And you've kind of got the best of both worlds. You've got big pictures, but you can actually like the picture still. It works a bit better. What about split screen multitasking though? Let's go back to the app and let's back out of iHeart Galaxy Foldable. And down here where it says enable multi-window to all apps. This will require a restart, but it is an absolute game changer. Let's go ahead and reboot. All right, so we're back in Instagram here and let's swipe over and let's open up Twitter. Let's drag this over and guess what you're going to immediately see? You can split screen. So now we have Twitter split screened right side by side with Instagram. And like I've said in other videos, if you choose to rotate this way, most everybody sees this and they go, oh, two skinny screens, two skinny apps, don't like it. Rotate this way and you've got two nice, beautiful side by side apps and it works really well. And now it works 
with every single app. But while we're here, let's keep fixing things, right? Instagram doesn't rotate. Maybe you want all apps to rotate. Let's go back into Multistar. Let's go back into iHeart Galaxy Foldables. And let's turn on down here at the bottom, rotate with our best. We're gonna turn that on. Now, sometimes there may be an app you might install that won't rotate. If that happens, come back in here, click on who, find the app, select it and change it to according to device orientation and that app will now properly rotate now we'll show you here's instagram let's rotate boom we rotated now obviously you're not going to want to do that with instagram that would be a terrible experience but there are apps where it does make sense how about power director pro you want to use it this way, this way, well now it's gonna rotate for you. How about the NFL.com fantasy football app? In tablet mode, it wants to only function in tablet view. I don't wanna use it this way, I wanna use it this way. Well guess what, now it rotates, it does it just fine, it does it happily, and it works really well now. And there are a lot of other great things in good lock. How about you wanna have your multitasking screen look like that? Well, you can find that in the Home Up app. One of my personal favorites is under the app called Sound Assistant. I absolutely adore this. Individual app volumes per app. So I can go in here and I can change Pokemon Go's maximum volume to 30% so that you're not listening to music you open up pokemon go and now you're deafened by weird whooshing pokemon noises it's terrible well now that doesn't happen to me basically like half the things i would root a phone for in the past to be able to do samsung just lets you do with an app that they have made and that is good luck so hopefully for all of you fine people out there who have just purchased a folding android device like a z fold of some sort hopefully you're going to enjoy and love that device a whole lot more now than you did before. So thanks for watching all the way to the end of today's video. Stay tuned for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.